We honor social workers for the work that they do working with families, working with children. Um, so today our boot is looking at social work um, through the eyes of the Ministry of Human Development and Social Transformation. And what we have is the different departments under our ministry. As the world celebrates World Social Work Day, the Department of Human Services is sharing information on the different services offered through the ministry by way of the departments. Services including child protection, child placement and child specialized services such as adoption and foster care. Other key components of social work were highlighted at the Awareness Fair aimed at celebrating social workers in Belize. We also have um, women's department, women's and family support services, and they also deal with gender-based issues along with um, public assistance. We also have um, community rehabilitation department who looks and works with ju juvenile offenders. And then we also have under the ministry, I mean under the Department of Human Services, we have community parenting where we have um, rovers who go out to do um, early childhood development with, with um, families and also do outreach in terms of school and parenting for um, communities and schools. Brandon says that at the core of the work of the Human Services Department are social workers. The work that they do is critical to the welfare of individuals, families, groups and communities. Social workers is the connection between um, all the different entities, organization, and the community at large. What we do on a whole, we work with families, we try to, to stabilize families, we try to bring children to their um, full potential. Um, and this is why we, we celebrate this day to the fullest. It is to give thanks to officers who go over and beyond um, connecting families and working towards keeping families. What are some of the challenges social workers face when they're out on the job? Um, well, like everyday challenges, you might have some people don't want to, to cooperate with you, people don't want to talk to you, and it, it comes with a little bit of um, ignorance or misinformation. Because for us, under the Department of Human Services, people might say, all they do is take where people pick me. However, that is not what we do. We work towards family preservation. So we work with families to keep children, to keep families together. Has the public's perception of social workers evolved over the years? Are people more accepting, more open to dialogue with social work? I think so. I think so. I think we have a great rapport. Um, we have done some um, awareness in terms of allowing people the information of what we do and people are much more receptive. People are not scared to come in and say I need help. People are not scared to say I need help with my child or I need whatever it is. So people are very much receptive now of, of what we do. Would you say there is there is a demand, this type of service is very much needed here in Belize? Definitely, definitely. It is a service that holds our country together from all angles, so it is definitely a demand. In what areas would you say, or what part of the countries would you say those demands are, are high? Um, countrywide, countrywide. And the demands varies. Um, for some areas you might have more public assistance people might need. Um, for some, some other areas you might have um, a lot of juvenile offenders that we need to rehabilitate and work with them. Um, for some other areas we might have a lot of child protection issues where people might say, well, I'm disciplining my child, but um, they may need a little bit of guidance as to how about going that as opposed to just um, going into hitting them or slapping them or verbally abusing them. So the, the, the services varies across, across the country. The Human Services Department sees an average of 15 to 20 family cases per day through the Belize City office alone, where some 20 social workers are attached. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.